friends, today I'm gonna to show you how I make these really, really cute crinkle cut zucchinis for roasted zucchini. It is that time of year again, although you can do zucchini all year, this is just our favorite way to do it. And I am absolutely in love with the Pampered Chef crinkle cutter. And right now in the month of May, you can actually get this cute crinkle cutter for free with any $75 purchase. So if you want this for free, I will include a link uh, to the website where you can place an order, or you can just buy this. It's only uh, $12 if you just wanted to buy. This is great, not just for zucchini. I love to use it for also cucumber. You can make crinkle cut potatoes or also French fries. It's great with a ton of fruit too. But just to kind of show you how easy it is to use, we are going to do zucchini. So I've already cut up one zucchini here. You're gonna need two. So I have in my Pamper Chef bowl my cut up zucchini and I'm just gonna cut up the other one. See how easily it glides? So easy. So I just cut off the ends. And then you can make it as big or as small. I kind of go, I don't want them too big because I want them to roast. And I just put them in my bowl. This makes a great summer side dish. We actually like it for a main dish. Uh, you can use any kind of summer squash too, uh, yellow squash. So I have two beautiful roasted zucchinis that again, I just cut up with my crinkle cutter here. Look at how cute. Imagine all of the fruits and veggies you can use with it. And it's just gonna elevate your cooking experience. All right, so to this, you're gonna need just a little bit of olive oil. I'll include the full recipe for you, just a tablespoon. But if you really wanna add a little extra yumminess to it, try like a garlic infused olive oil. That's what I like to use. But if you don't have that, that's okay. You can just use a regular olive oil. And then to that, we're gonna need a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese, just from the jar or the can. Then we're gonna need some of my everyday herb seasoning. And we're just going to then toss this all together. Easy as that. We're gonna put it on a roasting pan. Just toss it together so everything gets nice and coated. And what I also love too with this flexible pamper chef flexible mat, if I did have something I could also or like the extra crumbs, it's flexible. So I can also just put all of my extras in there too. So another useful tool uh, are the flexible mats. Uh, the large ones which I use, it's a set of, it's a set and it's item number 1519. It's only $18. All right, so we tossed it all in there. It smells so good, especially with that garlic olive oil. I'm gonna bring over my large baking sheet that I lined with parchment paper, but you could also use um, foil too. All right, so we got all that in there and I wanna make sure I get all that olive oil. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get them all nicely lined. So use your hands to just kind of spread them out. Make sure they're all, you want a nice big uh, baking sheet because these are gonna get elevated one more time. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit of shredded mozzarella onto these as well. And that's just going to add a little extra yumminess to them. You can add as much as a little, or just like a little bit, but you could actually even add those even cheesier too. So we're gonna pop these in a 425 degree oven and let these roast and I will show you how these yummy roasted cheesy zucchini uh, pieces turn out for you when they are done. So the zucchini roasted in a 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes and I cut them about a quarter inch thick. So not too thick, but again, you don't have to be precise and thanks to the crinkle cutter, it makes them really, really pretty and really, really easy to cut. So they roasted and they are just perfect. But wait, you guys, this recipe gets even better. How I like to serve them is just like this is fine. It makes a great side dish, but if you want to take it to the next level, I like to make an easy peasy garlic aioli. And what you're gonna need is a little bit of mayonnaise. You know I love my Duke, so I add in some mayonnaise into a bowl, just about a quarter cup. And to that, I'm gonna add in a clove of minced garlic. It's garlic aioli, so you gotta do that. And then you're gonna add in a little bit of lemon juice just a few teaspoons and a pinch of salt. You can add a little bit of pepper too. So add a little bit of salt and then you're gonna mix this together. Whip it up really good. And this makes a delicious 
dip for your roasted zucchini. I also like to add a little bit of my finishing salt to my zucchini as well. And then to serve it, you could serve this on the side. And wait till you see this, you take your zucchini that is nice and roasted and you dip it into the, into the dip. And it is so, so good. This makes a great appetizer too, a side dish. Any summer barbecue you're going to, with all the zucchini, this is a great way to make a delicious side tip, either just like this or add the dip for an extra layer of yumminess. Well, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Have a great day, guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.